Good morning learners, welcome to our today's lesson on 8 that is going to cover on uh, this topic opposites. Alan, as we all know that uh, the opposite of a word is simply uh, the word that is contrary to whatever we are speaking about. Like you can talk of uh, big. The word big has a synonym and a synonym is the word that is the same as that word big. Like you can talk of enemas. Enemas is a word that is the same as this. And then the opposite now becomes the contrary that we will now talk of small. So that was just to define the word opposite that we are all know about. Questions of opposite are all, always very simple, Anna. If you have ever realized, they are normally simple. But what makes Alana to fail a question on op in, uh, in this opposite? Just to mention but a few. Failure. People don't read the instructions. Like you're told in the exam. For question 21, 21 to 26, says a lot, 21 to 24, give the opposite of the underlined word. And then the learner goes without reading the instruction and picks on the synonym of a word. The synonym. The synonym is just the word that is that means the same as that underlined word. So Lana, you read the instruction. You may be asked the antonym. Antonym is the same as the opposite. Talk of the opposite or the antonym of a word, those are the same. Talk of the synonym or a word that means the same as. That, are, that is now the word that means that is in the same meaning as that word. So just to look at uh, this word, there's a word I wanted to write here. The word lazy. None of this word is really confused. A word that means the same as lazy, the same and not opposite. A word that means the same as lazy. Here you can talk of slothful. This may be a word that you have never interacted with, but the word lazy, and oh, this is a lazy boy. This is a, a slothful boy, it's correct. Or you hear some people saying, I don't like laziness. I don't like slothfulness. And we also have the word inactive. When somebody is inactive, we also say that person is lazy. We have sluggish. We have idle. Somebody who is idle. It doesn't have anything to do. We say to be lazy, slothful, and the rest. So what is the opposite of that word? When somebody is uh, not lazy, when somebody is not lazy, Lana, how do you say? You say that the person is industrious. Meaning that is somebody who works hard. I met a lazy man. But when the man has changed not to be lazy again, you say the man is industrious or hard working. Yeah, we can pick a number of words, hard working, a hard working man, meaning industrious, opposite of that is lazy. In class, most people are normally hard working, but some will always remain very lazy. They were doing the teacher's work. They are just there escorting people to school. So learn a map that. Read the instruction of when you are in examination and then give the right thing. If it is opposite, give the opposite. If it is a, 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 a synonym, give the, give the synonym of that word. So with me, I'm going to list some few opposites here. Some, some opposites will require a suffix. A suffix is a word that comes after. After what I talk of life. We can talk of lifeless. This less here is called a suffix. It's a word that comes after to show the opposite of a word. To show the opposite of a word. And then we also have prefix. Prefix come before. Like you talk of uh, faithful. Faithful. So you talk of unfaithful. Unfaithful. So unfaithful here has, become, has come before, as we call it. A, a, a prefix, so now a prefix comes before and a suffix comes after. So some of the, the time you get that in writing the opposite of words, we are, you may use prefix or we use suffix as uh, the word may appear. Some doesn't take suffix, uh, suffixes, are, but some will automatically take those particular uh, prefix and suffixes. So number one here we have the word abroad. 
You are the one abroad there. Like you have talked of somebody stays abroad. My father nowadays is a teacher in China. So your father stays abroad. So when he stays abroad, of course so that is native. Native meaning that one is within. Uh, but you normally have native tourists. Meaning those are tourists that come just from our country. Tourists that come from far away, that come from other countries. We talk of they come from abroad. Then number three, we have the word accept. When you don't accept something, that's a very simple, you reject. You reject. So this is the exact opposite of that word. We have the word, we have the word, the word silent. I can talk of uh, quiet. And learn and the word quiet is normally confused with the word quiet to mean extreme. Eh? Father is quite sick, and that quiet is normally written like this Q U I T E. That is quiet. Father is quite sick, but this is the word quiet. Learner, you must know how to differentiate though. Sometimes you confuse this for this and this for this. So take many, take, uh, you be very, very serious with it when writing it. You take note of it, don't miss the, 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 the spelling. So quiet. When somebody is not quiet, somebody is. Like when a place is not quiet, we say that a place is uh, is noisy. A noisy place. I like a quiet environment. I don't like a noisy environment or a noisy place. We have some like blunt. Blunt automatically be sharp. Somebody was beaten with a, a blunt object. The, con the opposite of that meaning is a sharp object. So this one will cause blood. Blood automatically will come. When you hit, when you hit with a sharp object like a knife or a razor blade, we are likely to see blood. But when you hit with a blunt object, somebody may die because of that, because maybe your internal organs are damaged. But Blood will not be evident in that category. Then we have some like honest. This act is silent, so we talk of honest. The word honest is there, and then its opposite will be the word dishonest. This. So we are adding whatever I mentioned. This is now a prefix. That prefix comes before. Dishonest. A dishonest boy. A honest boy. Then we have others like the word adverse, uh, adverse, hope you know the meaning of the word adverse. Adverse. No, advance. When something is advanced, choco. Retreat. Retreat. Retreat is to is to is to go back. Is to think backward or to make some step backward. So you are retreating. So that would what the kid comes there. Then we also have another word. Adult. Opposite of somebody. An adult is somebody who is uh, aged at least some years, a big person, a mature person. Opposite of that is a, a young person. The word young comes there. The other word ancestor. The word ancestor. Yeah, that's the spelling. The ancestor. Opposite of that is a descendant. In the Bible, we talk of Abraham. Abraham was promised by God that he was going to be given to have many descendants. Meaning, those are people who, who are born after them. Ancestors. The, our ancestors were like the likes of Abraham and the rest. So we, who are the who are the their children, we are now called the descendants. That's how I love to come in there. I know some of you could say that the first of ancestor is uh, <laughs> maybe maybe young people. 
but uh, ancestor is to descendants. And then we have the word ancient. Yeah, is a is, is a is formally said in examination. Ancient, ancient, ancient is to modern. Ancient meaning long time ago. The ancient, the ancient, the ancient uh, things like no talk of the first church in Kenya that was built in uh, in Rabai. It was an ancient church. So churches that are built today are said to be modern. Because if you look at them, even the, the modern buses, the, the modern trains, the one that were there before our grandfathers were called ancient. They were traditional. So opposite of the word that means the same as ancient is traditional. Uh, to mean long time ago. Then we have this word here. Assembly. Or assemble, let's talk of assemble. When, when assemble people, we dismiss them. Eh? So dismiss or to disperse. Disperse. We disperse them, tell them now to leave the assembly. You assemble them. Can talk of assemble some. The other time my name was was speaking Sam and I was hearing him mentioning mentioning when you want to do an experiment, you must assemble the what? You must assemble the, the, the materials you want to use, you assemble. For some meaning, you collect them. Even if you have a bottle, you collect a bottle there, the spoon and the things you want to use in your experiment. So you assemble. After assembling them, after finishing the experiment, you'll do it. You'll disperse. You'll now take this one where it should be, you take the other one where it should be, so you make them disperse. Then there's another common one here. Foreign. A foreign person. You also talk of the word native. I mentioned native before when I was mentioning abroad. So abroad can be native as well as foreign. A native person, meaning domestic, comes from nearby. You know, normally have domestic tourists, and then normally have the same as native. Opposite of that is foreign. A foreign man, a foreign person, somebody who comes from uh, far away from our country. I'll mention some of you again. We have uh, conceal. The word conceal is there. The purpose of that word is disclose. Disclose a word. So when you disclose a word, you make it public. A word that was hidden or a secret. You are you're the, you're the secret that you didn't want to let out. Anything can be a secret. A word that you don't want to let out that people should know. So as soon as you let it out, we say that you have disclosed it. So when you're still holding it, you don't want to let it out. You say that you are you have concealed it. You conceal a word or a, or a story. But if you let it out, you say you are disclosed. It's no longer a secret. Then we have uh, poverty. Poverty, opposite of that is, and talk of richness, we add ness there. To see that this, this is a person who has a lot of riches now. He's a rich man. So that opposite of the word poverty. You also have uh, cunning. This man is a cunning man. Opposite of the word cunning becomes honest. The man who speaks the truth. Honest man. A cunning person. Then we normally have the word praise. People will always praise you when you are doing good. And people will always blame you. We blame. To finish this part, Lana, there's this word that is commonly misused. The word popular. Popular. 
and then we have the word uh, the word uh, there are two confused words here I wanted to explain about them and just leave them Just to begin with, if you are trying to drop out the other one, some of those popular is somebody who is uh, who is uh, loved or like loved by many. Eh? The word love comes there. Love by many. The word love comes the word popular. Popularity goes with the love. People love that person a lot. So opposite of the word popular, opposite of the word popular will be will be unpopular. Use um. Somebody is unpopular. And then, not the word familiar. Okay, that's what I was doing. Familiar. The word familiar. Somebody who is familiar is. Somebody who is familiar is normally liked. No, no, known by me. You are just known. There is no aspect of love there. So when you are known by many, there are people who are known. We have people like uh, like Osama bin Laden, a very good example. Osama bin Laden, many people may not know it, many learners may not know Osama, but Osama was uh, a killer, he was uh, a big terrorist who killed people a long time ago, but he was later killed by uh, uh, during the reign of President Obama. So Osama killed a number of people. He even came and bombed a house, a, one of the big tallest houses in, 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 in Nairobi. That killed many people in 1998. 19, uh, so Osama was well known by many people. I remember when I was young, we, had, we even have a dog that was named after Osama because he was very popular. We, people could name even cats and dogs after, after, after him. But Really, he was known by many, but was he loved by many because of the killing? So Osama was a familiar person, but people who have done great things, talk of Martin, Martin Luther King, talk of, uh, talk of uh, great people like uh, President Obama, those who are, who are now popular people, people who are loved by, by many. So the opposite of the word familiar, will become um, we love familiar I can also talk of uh, oh, I think we have it yeah, yeah so I can talk of unfamiliar or I think there is an exact one here Actual, actual word, familiar. So familiar as that I, I, A, R, familiar. So opposite of the word familiar is unknown. Popular and popular. And this one can also mean popular, known by many, renowned can also be used here. The word renowned. Meaning that is uh, somebody who is now. Renowned is somebody who is renowned, is known for that, is known and loved for whatever he's doing. We have other just to make to end our lesson. Truth, the word truth, truth will be a lie, that, that's common. Truth will be a lie. Steep, the word steep, a steep, we all know a steep, we're going up the mountain top of, we are going, we are on a steep. So when uh, a place is so steep, with the opposite of that will be gentle. It is you can now someone that is not very steep. So talk of the word gentle. So steep. The word is steep, ladies will be gentle. A gentle. Stupid person will be automatically wise. Opposite of stupid, stupid will be wise. Tiny, large. 
truth, a lie, vacant, occupied, a, a vacant room, an occupied room, vague, vague, a vague answer. You may not know the meaning of the word vague, but when your answer is, you have been asked, what is the meaning of the word uh, big? And then you start saying, that is a small thing. Then your answer is said to be, to be vague, because uh, you are very far much away from the answer. So the word vague is there, vague. And the opposite of vague would be precise. When you are precise, now meaning you are giving us the right answer, you are direct the point. Vague, meaning wrong, but precise is that you have got the actual answer. Then we have the word uh, voluntary. Voluntary. Well, do something in a, in a vol voluntary way, meaning you do it, you, 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 have, uh, you are doing it willingly, you are doing it without any payment. There is no invitation there, but you are doing it willingly without any payment. Like normally have uh, people who do something, but anyway, I've ever taught you this. VCT, when you, you are being taught HIV and AIDS. You talk of voluntary counseling and testing. Meaning, first of all, the meaning of this problem, you are doing it out of will. There's nobody forcing you to go there. And you, are, you do it voluntarily without being asked. So the one the meaning of the word voluntary becomes compulsory. Compul compulsory. This one is very common in examination. You'll be told, John did a voluntary work. So which word is the opposite of the underlying word? So look for the word compulsory. Compulsory meaning you are forced to do it. It's a must. Like going to school is normally compulsory. If you miss going to school, you have to explain why you didn't go. But even on Saturdays, it is compulsory you have to go to school. But when uh, on Sundays, you can go to school, to, you, you can go to church voluntarily. Nobody will force you to go to church. So, Lana, I think we have gone so much. I would only like to discuss slightly, shortly exercise, one exercise here, then before you do something small. Exercise 62. As I told there, we have been told, write the opposite of the following words. We are going to do all of it, just have a few questions. Like what honest? So mention honest, the talk of dishonest. Just put the this there, that is a prefix. Temporary, we talk of permanent. When something is not like normally build temporary houses at home. But in towns we normally build permanent houses. What the word clarity? Clarity, opposite of the word clarity, is confusion. When there's clarity meaning you can see the light. Things are going on well. But when there's confusion, like right now there's confusion in Kenya, people don't know whether to open the, the locked places or not. So we say that there's no clarity, meaning there's, con there's uh, confusion. So opposite of clarity is confusion. Accept, talk of reject. And then we mentioned the word humble. We mentioned the word humble somewhere, of which uh, the opposite of humble is is uh, is violent a violent place a humble place we also have the word humble again humble can mean very many things the word humble again can mean a very poor man uh, yeah we have a very poor person is said to be a humble man opposite of that is rich man and then other humble humility can also be the word uh, the word pride proud a proud man is not said to be not humble then we have the word compulsory we have mentioned. Compulsory is voluntary. Ignorance. Somebody who is, has ignorance. So to tell you, somebody, somebody is, has knowledge now. Ignorance is knowledge or somebody is, uh, is wise. What the word is seldom? Seldom is normally used. This is uh, among the adverbs. Adverbs of uh, adverb. It's one of the adverbs of negativity that we have, that somebody seldom go to town, meaning he goes to town once in a while, same as, uh, same as rarely. But you talk of, the opposite of that will be often. 
I would normally talk of often is right in uh, as far as pronunciation is concerned. But don't say often, this thing is silent. So often there is the opposite of the word, seldom. Then we have uh, guilty. When somebody is guilty, the opposite of that, somebody is innocent. Then uh, professional, somebody is professional. Then somebody is, is the opposite of professional will be will be somebody who is not professional, how do you call it? Let me talk over quack. A doctor is a professional, is a professional who is allowed to treat people. Yeah, quack can be the opposite of that. Somebody is doing something without any knowledge. And I'll give you a, 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 the exact a, the exact opposite of that word. I'll just uh, check into it later. Then, uh, what the word? Order. When there's order in a place, Opposite of order will be chaos. When now people are fighting, so there is no order. Like you realize after the after elect, every election in Kenya, there is no no order. People are in chaos. Then uh, descendant, we mentioned that ancestor, cow, a cow place like a cow road. Opposite of that is a straight one. That's just come uh, very simple. Then we have uh, lazy. That's industrial to mention. Transparent, opaque, that's done in science. A transparent place, an opaque, a material. Noisy, I mentioned quiet. And Lama, remember that spelling again? That is the spelling of quiet. That one. Then we have normally quiet. No, quiet is done like this. This is the quiet. So this is the quiet I was mentioned. Even me, it's now confusing me. So this is quiet to mean extreme. And then this is the quiet to mean uh, not a noisy place. And then lastly, we have the word uh, foreign. We had mentioned the issue of foreign there. We talk of native. So now that we have done all of the number one to eighteen. So I'm leaving you with a simple, uh, simple exercise here. Simple exercise that is exercise exercise 63. You've also been told to write the opposite of the words in uh, color in the following sentences number one to ten. There are just very really few questions. So number one, you've been told a very common one here that this is not a familiar face. In fact, when you're given a a sentence in any word, like the word underlined there is familiar, Lama. And you have been also been given a sentence to guide you. This is not a familiar face, meaning this is this is a familiar face, meaning this one is a unknown, familiar unknown. Nobody knows the face. So Lama, I've done number one. You try the rest. Until you meet next time. Still wish you a very busy day, full of uh, gods. Blessing. Thank you.